loud and your talk talks. Your walk talks so loud I can't hear words you say. Are you with me? So this guy has done it, uh, so, and he still is doing it. And so real quick, Nate, I want you to talk to him for a few minutes and about the crazy good. Give Nate a hand. Come on, give me some energy. Come on. Come on. No need to reiterate what's already been spoken about. The thing I want to do is challenge each one of my people is to really think about why you're actually here. Think about those gifts that you know actually lie right now within you. Amen. You know, the Bible in Hebrews 11 speaks of now faith. And I know you know it, don't you? Right. Now faith. Yeah. Now faith. Now faith Amen. is the substance of things hoped for, right? Amen. And what substance? Substance is the foundation, right? Foundation. You've come out here tonight, today. you come out here today to actually get some foundation. Amen. You're in the house of the Lord. Amen. Okay? So you got your pens and your paper out, and I want you to make sure you take down these quick notes because I'm going to wrap it up really, really quickly. Growth. G R O W T H. Growth. 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 We're here talking about your foundation. We're going back to Hebrews 11. We're talking about now faith is a substance. Of things hoped for. Hope is about expectation. Amen. What are you expecting to get out of this thing called life? What are you actually expecting? Are you right now where you had hoped to be? Amen. Go back into your mind and think about when you were growing up and then think about life as it is right now and think about if you're having the life that you actually thought of. And if you're not, now is the time. <laughs> Now is the time to actually move in the direction vigorously based upon what you know is already within you. Because the Bible says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for. You're doing some activity right now, so I applaud each one of you for being out here today. Thank you, Lord. You're now standing on upon a foundation. You're in the house of the Lord, so you've got the foundation right. So that first G is for God. G is for God. Now, the next thing we have is the R. The R is about relationships. Relationships. When you're involved in something like here, this is a communal activity here. We're in a relationship. You've got to protect those things around you. We are our family, the body of Christ, and also within the body of Christ, we've got this commonality around this thing called crazy good. So the relationships are important. It's important that you get in the community and actually network. It's important that you get into the system. Play with the tool. That's all it is. It's not a gee whiz tool. It's not some new gadget. It's not a big opportunity pitch. It's a tool to enhance your life. That's right. Amen. Use it to do that. Use it to actually build community. If you've got a church group, then it gives an opportunity for you to actually get to know the members within this church body and start to build relationships, which in turn allows you to do more together. Right. One of the most disappointing things about the church body is that in the church house, we come in here, we come in to worship, we go through the rah-rah, we go through the check the block, but then once we leave, everybody goes in their own way. And then you have each brother and sister next to one another having their own hurts and pains, and their ego bigger than the bank account. That's true. Ego bigger than the bank account. Amen. So what do you got to do? You got to change that culturally. Praise God for a leader that's doing that. That's actually yes. allowing you to get the knowledge and the things that you need so that you can get everything that you need within the body. Amen. Okay, so now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Hope, expectation. Amen. Next, what we want to talk about is what? After the R is the O. Today you've been presented an opportunity for some of you, and for others, you had already been exposed to the opportunity, but maybe you haven't gotten it. And maybe today is that day that you're going to have the breakthrough. Maybe today you're going to make a decision to actually do something with this opportunity, because you know that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, so you're going to actually going to believe and stand upon this thing that's been brought into your life. And you're going to move forward vigorously with the expectation that that which is not seen with the natural eye is in the mind's eye going to come to fruition. And if you actually believe that, then that means you will do the activity to allow you to get that. That's good. 
in spite of those things that might be before you as the challenges and the difficulties. Because that happens. That's life. Amen. So you've got to understand that the opportunity is real. But it's only as real as you believe it to be. I-A-S-M. Write it down. I-A-S-M. I-A-S-M. I am sold myself. How can you expect someone else to actually believe what you're sharing with them if you're not sold yourself in the idea? You've got to believe it. Just like you've got to believe in the Father and what he means to you and that believe that he's died on the cross for your sins. sins. Then that's the same attitude and disposition you've got to have when you found something that you believe can be the solution to the right. problem or challenge that you have. It's, good. it's not about convincing. Don't be a salesperson. I don't believe in the rah-rah. I don't believe you're just being excited and don't know what you're excited about. Come on now. That's fake. Right. Too many people be disappointed by that. Be excited about something because you really believe in something that's going to get you to where you want to get to. Amen. And if you believe that, then that means you won't get knocked off your rocker because of someone else. You have no right to project what you believe onto someone else in regards to what's good for their life. That's disrespectful. Take care of your belief in what you're going to do because you're going to do it. And when you're doing it, others will then get in step and follow. Because leaders lead. I don't need to come and get the green light from you or you or you. Whether or not you believe it or don't do it, it doesn't matter because I know what's in my mind. I know what God has laid out for me. I know that this here is the path. Amen. I'm going this way. My objective is here. And maybe some of your objective is to do 111,110 in your six months. By show of hands, how many would like that check? Amen. And if I tell you that 10 is your first objective, you've got to get 10 in your first 30 days. 10. And that's the first step along this path. And the end of this path is 111,110. By show of hands, how many of you will go ahead and do 10? <laughs> If I'm telling you that in order for you to get that objective, and you've already told me that's the objective you want, and I'm telling you step one is 10, do you realize that you can't get to that if you don't take step one? So then the next thing I'm saying is the next 30 days, that means you've got to get to 100. So you've got to help that 10 to get 10. So therefore, that's the objective. I'm going this way. I'm inviting each one of you to come with me this way, the next step is, step two is we need to help those 10 get 10, so we got to get 100. Can you follow, can you put your foot in my step right here? Can you do that? Yes. Now we know that there are a lot of things and no fear gets in the way. Okay? I know some people say, yeah, that stuff don't work. <laughs> yeah, you saying all that is good, but things happen and, and I'll give you that, okay? Fear, false expectations appearing real. Yeah. F A F E A R. Fear, false expectations right. appearing real. I'm telling you, I'm going this way. I'm telling you, step one is ten. Step two is a hundred. I'm telling you, put your foot in my path, and if you continue to fall in my path, you're going to get to that objective. Now, I don't care about your fears because I'm telling you they're false expectations appearing real. I'm telling you, all you got to do is go. So if you will have enough belief to actually walk by the faith that you already said that you have because you're in this body and you believe that he will do what he said he will do because our will is in alignment with his will, then you can't have fear and faith in the same breath. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Okay, so we've already gotten past the O. Now we're at the W. W, W, wealth, whatever that means to you, to you, to you, or to you, I want you to know from my heart to yours, you can have it if you will simply invest the time to learn how to get it. I didn't say the money. Someone could have came in here today without having $10 in their hand, could have came in here, got this free information, and in turn, got enough information for them to go and do something to figure out how to get the money. Right, right. See, the most important thing is not having the money. The most important thing is having the willingness to be open-minded to get this information that's good for them. 
That's very, very critical because you're going to run into people that won't do that. They won't invest the time to learn how to get it. They will always tell you, well, you got to have money. Well, how much does it cost? Well, how much? I didn't open my mouth about something costing you something. I'm inviting you to come see something. Come on now. I'm inviting you to come hear something. It doesn't cost you anything to get on a phone call and listen to a four-minute sizzle call. It doesn't cost you anything when the CD is ready. It doesn't cost you anything to take my CD and listen to it. That's right. Come on. You see, so the tools are already there. Those things, don't you get caught up in other people's ignorance. Amen. And unwillingness. Don't waste your energy. Keep going because you're on this path. That's right. Don't let someone get you off the path. This is it. Forget about it. Touch them. Think it. But keep moving in the direction. <laughs> Forward momentum. T, time. It's time. Time. We all have the same 1,000 440 minutes per day. That's right. When you take out the time for working, sleeping, commuting, and the time it takes you to do what you have to do each and every day of your life, most people are left with just one to two hours remaining to do what they really want to do. Amen. But then the question is, do they have the money to do it? Come on. Each one of us now has a, a solution to people's most pressing problems. That's right. Time or money. Right. Time or money. Time or money will definitely give you something. Well, if you solve those problems, you can actually help anyone's situation. Amen. Oh, well, I have health issues. Okay, if you had more money, could you get the very best practice mm -hmm. in order to help you? Amen. Well, I, I, I don't get enough rest. Well, if you had more money, could you get some more rest? Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I, 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 I be in ministry. I want to do more ministry. How many hours are you working on your job? If you had more money, could you walk away from the job and do more of the ministry? Come on now. It's always those two issues. The only thing you got to do is figure out which one is most pressing to the person. Okay, and the last one is health. Time, time. The last is H for health. If you don't take care of yourself, if you don't take care of your body, where are you going to live? Yeah. If you don't take care of your body, where are you going to live? This is the temple, right? Amen. This is where it all begins, right? Amen. So we've got to do what we need to do to take care of ourselves physically. Because all that other stuff doesn't matter if we don't have our help. Okay? So what I want to encourage each one of us together to do collectively is to get in the community and actually use it for what it actually is. Let your excitement be something based upon the foundation of you believing that you've got a big enough desire that is worthy of you investing a little bit of time right now right. to have a lot more in the end. And I promise you, if you will just continue to press forward and just do things on a daily basis, right. remember, Daily habits done daily build character. That's right. Daily habits done daily build character. This is about a sprint and recover, as TJ was saying. This is sprint and recover. You want to sprint. You want to put yourself on the timeline. You know what you're going to go get hard, and then you want to take back and you want to relax. So you got to recover. It's important. And I want you to start thinking about what you will do when you actually have that check in hand. Mm. And one of the things I want to encourage you to do is talk about a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 70 program. The first 10%, I want you to give it away. Unfortunately, in this concept here, we've got that vehicle already in place, right? Because we can identify that vehicle that we want to support. That's the first 10%. The next 10%, I want you to do is find something for yourself. Enjoy yourself. It's true. Enjoy yourself. Reward yourself. It's okay. You can't take the stuff with you. Come on, man. <laughs> okay? The next 10%, put it back into learning. Personal growth and development. Okay, put it back into yourself so you can then replenish. And then the last 70%, invest it. Invest it. Leave something behind. Grow something. You know, use these vehicles to give you the cash to allow you to then build strategic relationships with others that you can do something greater. You know, the doors open up tremendously. I mean, just I just called my mentor the other, other night about something pretty extraordinary. But see, that's what happens. Because, see, when you start to build a relationship, then other things open up. And then if you got the little bit, then you position yourself to do something that's greater. Right. And the resources are in here. So 
My website is succeedwithnatescott.com. Succeedwithnatescott.com. Feel free to register for free just to be in that circle and then reach out to me on Crazy Good. And then if you see anything that I have out there that's of interest to you, by all means, reach out to me. But my title is uh, at Succeed with Nate, N-A-T-E, Scott, S-C-O-T-T dot com. Succeed with Nate Scott dot com. And um, like I said, resources are inside the community. Um, a lot of, lot of people with, with big hearts wanting to help. Yes, we are in our individual businesses. My business is coaching. I call it Passion Coach Lifestyle Design Strategies. And my personal mission is to create a $10 million endowment fund to foster personal growth and development and entrepreneurship. And in order to do that, I need to help 100 people earn $100,000 a year and 100 people build a net worth of a million. 100 times a million is 100 million. 10% of 100 million is 10 million. And by me just giving a little bit to you, I'm fostering that end state because, as I said, to live each day principle centered based upon biblical teachings and to be a person of value and positive influence in the lives of the people within my circle of influence. Yeah. I consider you in my circle of influence, and so that's why my heart is open to you. I want to make sure that if this is the last time you've ever seen me or meet me, that I've given you something that can actually be a blessing to you that you can actually then share with others because we've got to pay it forward. So I do thank each one of you for being out here. I thank you for uh, taking a moment of time. I'm and, sorry, uh, brother. Hey, what was that? I'm sorry. What was that? Daily habit, done daily? Build daily character. habits, done daily, build character. She had one question. Yes, ma'am. Daily it. habits, build. Done deal. Right. Give my hand. Come on now, man. Stop.